Hey guys, you're welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tivera here, as always and as usual. Today we are going to Ungo to see what life in Ungo looks like in 2022. If you are from Ungo or lived in Ungo or want to see the beautiful hometown of Lady Bianca Ojuku, then you should keep watching this video and remember to subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and your family and drop your comments in the comment section below. Driving through the Snakey Milikin Hill Road to Ngo from Enugu is usually a daunting experience for me. I literally hold myself from looking down the creepy valley down below because it makes me feel like I will drop down into that ditch and it's usually an experience I do not like to encounter whenever I'm passing through this road. Ngo is a community in Udi local government area of Enugu state. It is notable for its lush scenery, hills, caves and the pine forest which has attracted a lot of tourists to the community. Ngo as a rural community is speedily developing as a result of its proximity to Enugu and Ninth Mile. A lot of people now prefer to live in Ingo as a suburb while they go about their businesses in Enugu or other nearby commercial towns. Notable persons from Ngo include late Chief C.C. Ono, the father of Bianca Ojuku and the former governor of Old Anambra State. Also, Patient Ozoko, also known as Mamaji, the Nollywood actress, hails from Ungo as well. On this trip, we shall be visiting the very popular Ungo Pine Forest and, you know, sights and sounds from Ungo. So do make sure you stay tuned and enjoy this trip with me. Guys, we are at the pine forest now and um, let me say something before we were allowed to film this place we were asked to pay so if you're a content creator or somebody who wants to do something here bear in mind that you should have some cash set aside to settle people here before they will allow you shoot and um, I don't know if this is something the community has agreed maybe as the source of revenue or a group of persons uh, taking advantage of the pine forest, you know, to enrich themselves. That I do not know. But all I know is that you have to set aside a certain amount of money. It's negotiable, so it's not something that is fixed to settle them or to pay for them to allow you to take pictures or videos of the pine forest, okay? I'm back here again. Um, so basically, we <laughs> my boss lost his cord. <laughs> like this, this trip nearly just. Yeah, you just cast. So yeah, he lost his drone cord, but um, thank God for grace. grace we are able to. Grace. Yeah, so we are able to find the cord. We grab, yeah. No, so okay, we are able so... to find the cord. So the cord is back. So now we can start we can our start journey again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my boss. My boss was nearly crying. <laughs> Which can you say nearly? I know you cry already now. <laughs> so, don't worry. So, um, why is it not connect now? Yeah, so, yeah, we are ready to fly.
So um, this pine forest was planted over 50 years ago to fight against erosion that was ravaging the community at the time. Currently, the pine trees stand several heights above the ground and provide shade and greenery to the community. Aside the ecological impact of this pine forest, it also serves as a tourist center, attracting thousands of visitors yearly to Ngoz. A lot of people come from far and near to see the pine forest, to have picnics or have their group activities or fun activities here and it's a lot of things to behold. So uh, let's keep going and exploring the pine forest and I hope you do enjoy it. However, if you have any thoughts or ideas you feel that should be done here, you know, to make it better, to improve it for the community, for the government, for fun seekers, let me know in the comment section. I'll be looking forward to all of that. However, this is Mbo Pine Forest.